Now that we have created many of the design elements for our house, it's time to create our plan set. In Chief Architect, layout sheets are used to organize your plans, elevations, CAD details, schedules, site plans, and other items for your construction documents. And if you don't have a full-size plotter, you can use a PDF print driver and send the drawings to your local print house. To get started with our plan set, I'll open a layout template that already has a title block set up. I can easily modify by placing my name, company logo, and any other information. Any global changes that display on all pages are made on the master sheet, which is page zero. Let's return to our plan file and choose the views to be sent to the layout. By using layer sets, you will find creating the right view in your construction documents is easy. I will change my current layer set to floor plan and then send this view to the layout sheet. When I choose send to layout, I can define the scale of the drawing, make a copy of the layer set from the plan file, and define a few other options. For now, I'll accept the defaults and send the drawing at a quarter inch scale to the layout page. On the layout page, I can position the floor plan and use text and CAD tools to create additional notes or details about the plan. Let's create another layout page. I'll use the automatic exterior elevation tool and create the cameras for my elevation. While in this elevation view, let's toggle the color off and place some callout markers from my library that I have previously created. I will save the 3D camera and send the elevation to the layout page. Both the elevation and callout markers are on the layout page. Let's create one final layout page. In our plan file, I will take a back clipped cross section elevation, then I will choose CAD detail from view. In this CAD view, I will add the details for the wall and foundation. You can hand draw the details using an array of powerful CAD tools, import a CAD detail from a DWG or DXF file, or you can browse the built-in catalog library that has over 500 CAD details to choose from to save you time and effort. For now, I will choose a wall and foundation detail from the library and precisely locate these items using a point-to-point -point move. Let's unblock this CAD detail and modify one of the text objects. Selecting one of the built-in architectural fonts, and then let's set a new arrow style for the text. Once I have completed the CAD detail, it is now part of my plan file, and I can send this to the layout page. To finalize our construction documents, I've gone ahead and added the remaining pages to complete the set, including perspective views, site plan, electrical plan, framing plan, and more. To get a closer view of the sample plan set created in Chief Architect, you can view a set from the main menu or on our website.